Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 19th, 2016. I hope the eclipse went fine. I hope you're all purged and purified. We're going through this eclipse season. Two more to go. And we're there. And finally, all these irritating transits we've been going through since February will be done with for now. I mean, we've, we, we've been trying to restructure from February. We've been trying to reinvent ourselves. We've been trying to walk forward. The pillars of our lives have been trembling and changing. And, and we've been asked to restructure everything, or at least some of the most important things in our lives. Major changes regarding how we walk through life. And there was a feeling as if We've been trying to develop, we've been trying to walk forward, and every time we did, things would be changing underneath our feet and we'd be have, we, we would have to adapt ourselves again instead of just sailing on. But all of this is going bye-bye. There's a feeling like there's still this stress caused by the Saturn-Mars conjunction in the sky. There's still this feeling like we're one one, one foot is on the gas and the other is on the brakes. But this is going to go away at the beginning of September while our kids are going back to school from their summer holidays. Not that I have kids yet, but I can relate. Uh, it is us who are getting the, 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 the holiday. Us adults. <laughs> In a sense, we can feel like, like things are lifting. Like we've been dealing with all kinds of different troubles that are now just converging into a path that we can recognize, a path that we can start running on, a path that we can focus on. It is as if we've been honing our hedge, edge for a long time and we can finally be, be those samurais that we've wanted to be from the beginning of the year. Let's go back to today. So today the moon is in Pisces. It squares Mars and Saturn in the morning time if you are in Europe. And then conjuncts Neptune till around late, uh, late noon, early afternoon if you are in Europe. That's all through the morning up to noon time if you are in the States. And then it conjuncts the North Node, uh, the South Node. And what does it all mean in English? It means that today, and it sounds funny to me when I say it, but I'm going to say it anyway, you should be as feminine as possible. <laughs> I would avoid male influences today. Any kind of domineering, any kind of patriarchal, any kind of constricting, um, aggressive energies or persons today or activities because we could get into conflicts, we could get into fights, our fuse is shorter, we could feel that we're not supported enough, we are extra sensitive. And being on the male, masculine side within us today, doing those masculine activities and approaching the world from our masculine mind frame, whether we are female or males, is not my advice. My advice is be as feminine as possible, be as soft as possible, be as uh, encompassing as possible, as accepting as possible. Now that does not mean that you have to become a victim, that does not mean you have to shut up if things are going uh, south, if, 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 if uh, things are being done that shouldn't be do uh, done or said that should not be say, uh, said. But if you can avoid the situation altogether, and just not be there. That's the best thing. And this is a great day to do some meditation work. This is a great day to do some artistic work. Everything that is spiritual, esoteric, or artistic is heightened today, or connecting to nature, to wild nature, to wilderness, to anything that is not cultured, and really recharging our batteries there. From Nighttime in Europe, that's 20 hundred hours Central European time, 1400 hours Eastern Standard Time. There's a sextile to Pluto. That's already a great time to be with a company of people, but with the right company of people, because we could get empowered in that time 
and feel a, a, a sense of connectiveness and and like we're on the same page and we're on the same journey together and be empowered by that. If you are staying up late tonight from around midnight Central European time, that's around 1800 hours Central uh, Eastern Standard Time, there is an opposition to Venus. That is a time that our needs and our emotional, um, our emotional needs and our um, desires within relationships can stand opposing, could be opposed, I'm sorry, to those of others in our lives. And we would have to learn how to compromise if we would want to avoid troubles. So, that's everything for today. I hope you're going to have an amazing weekend. And if you want to study evolutionary astrology with me, I'd be honored if you contact me. All the details are in the slide at the end of this video. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>